Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own homemade camera obscura. You will be needing a few tools and items, a box, a hammer, tissue paper, an emptied tin can, scissors, an exacto knife, or a box cutter. When using the exacto knife, make sure you have parent supervision, a sharpie or any kind of marker, a nail, a penny, a few rubber bands, and duct tape. A little history behind the camera obscura is that it was invented in the 13th century but was never put into photography until the 1830s. However, throughout the 13th and 15th century, artists used the camera obscura to get ideas for their artwork. One flaw of the camera obscura is that when you look through it, everything appears to be upside down. This is because of the bright sun rays. Now, let's move on to making our camera obscura. For the first part in making our camera obscura, you will need to get your hammer, nail, and empty can, and flip it to where you have the bottom side up, and you get your nail in the middle of the can and puncture a small hole. Once you have the hole, you take it out, and then the first step is done. For the second step in making our camera obscura, you need to get your can and the marker and trace a circle around the can in the center of the box. Once you traced out the circle in the center of your box, flip your box and get your penny and in the center trace out the penny. This is where your viewing hole is going to be. Now that you traced out the penny on this side and the can on this side, get the X-Acto knife or box cutter and cut out the two holes. And remember, when using the X-Acto knife, have parent supervision. For our next step, we'll be using the tissue paper, scissors, a rubber band, and our emptied can. We will be cutting out a square out of the tissue paper and then putting it on the top of this empty part, attaching it with the rubber band so that you can see through it. Now that you have your tissue paper cut out into a square, put it on the open part of your can, make sure it's flat, then you get your rubber band and put it around it. And if you need to, do a double wrap so it's more secure and tight. Now, for our next step, we'll be getting our can and installing it through the hole of our camera obscura about halfway. And then we are going to seal around it with duct tape. Once you are done taping your can to your camera obscura, get the duct tape and duct tape every possible entries of light because you really want the inner part of the camera obscura pitch black. Now, once you're done making it, you can decorate it, color it, paint it any way or any sort of design you want. Now you can take your camera obscura outside in any bright areas and see the world around you upside down. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.